solitary whale, broadcasting at a frequency that no other whale could understand. Legend has it that 52 has been roaming the ocean for decades, entirely alone. 52 Hertz has been nicknamed the loneliest whale in the world. This all began to change after a young biologist started listening to the song of the humpback whale. In 1992, a top secret program of the US Navy discovered a mysterious sound in the Pacific at a frequency of 52 Hertz. The loneliest whale in the world lives in the North Pacific. Scientists have been tracking him on and off for more than 30 years, listening to his vocalizations as he swims back and forth across his patch of ocean, calling into the void and waiting for a reply that never comes. No one can hear his voice. The 52 Hertz whale who is unknown species and nicknamed 52, was originally discovered in 1989 and has been intermittently tracked by scientists ever since. Its solitary nature baffled marine researchers, and its very existence captured the attention and hearts of millions of people. Scientists have determined that the whale is a large male and possibly a hybrid and they have speculated that its unique song, too low in frequency for humans and too high for whales, might be a result of malformation. It was a solitary sound from single source broadcasting at a frequency of 50 to 52 Hz, too low for human ears, too high for whales, and leaving tracks of acoustic data across the Pacific. It was detected by an array of surveillance hydrophones set up by the US Navy. They initially thought it was mechanical, possibly an enemy vessel. It wasn't until four years later when these signals were shared with marine scientist William Wakens that the sound took the shape of a mysterious whale. The creature was apparently vocalizing at a frequency that no other marine animals seemed to echo back or understand. Marine biologist William Watkins figured out that the sound the Navy was picking up was actually from whale, not some submarine. That's when the mystery of 52 really began. While early researchers like Watkins had tracked the whale primarily in the tempestuous Gulf of Alaska and in the eastern North Pacific, it was now likely closer to shore up the west coast of the United States, seemingly within reach of the Los Angeles. And he keeps calling, but no one has ever replied. To us, 52 became the loneliest whale in the world.